Hey folks, I'm Alan, and this is how to add custom ligatures to a font using Glyphs Mini 2. Glyphs Mini 2 is a paid Mac app. It's currently 49 pounds on their website and also available via subscription to Send app, which I see listed as 10 bucks a month US. For this video, I'll be using the 30 day free trial version, which as far as I can tell is fully functional. The example ligature I'm making turns the JavaScript keyword this followed by a period into a single character. The font I'm adding the ligature to is Fira Mono, which I downloaded from Google Fonts. I picked that font because it's not a variable font. The first font I tried was Roboto Mono, which is a variable font, but it didn't work right. It's possible this approach works with variable fonts and I just did something else wrong, but I'm sticking with the non-variable types for now. When you first open Glyphs Mini 2, the app presents you with a starting point for a new font. Since we want to add a ligature to an existing font, we can just close that and use File Open to navigate to the new font file we want to start with. The Fira Mono I got from Google Fonts has a few versions, bold, medium, and regular. The only one I plan to use is regular, so we can open it. The file starts in a locked state. If we try to change things, we'll get a warning that we can't and that we need to do a save as. The file menu doesn't actually have a save as, but we can do file save and give the file a new name instead to get things working. We'll name this one Allen Custom Fira Mono. The first step to adding a ligature is to pick the glyph new glyph menu item and then scroll down to the bottom of the main window to find our new empty glyph. The text I'd like the ligature to replace is the word this followed by a period. We need to rename our glyph following three rules to make that happen. First, we'll spell out the word this separated by underscores. Next, we'll add another underscore followed by the word period all typed out. And finally, we'll add .liga to the end of the name. And note that when you change the name, the glyph may jump around and you may have to go find it. Double clicking on our freshly renamed glyph opens it to show an outline of the this and period that we'll be replacing. We could use the drawing tools to design our glyph, or we can copy the contents from other glyphs to make our design. For this video, I'm gonna do the latter. Going back to the font tab, I'm gonna pick the box down double and horizontal single glyph, which makes a nice T and double click on it to open it. We can use edit select all from the main menu, then edit copy to grab the glyph, go back to our new one and do edit paste to copy it over. Since we want the ligature to replace the period as well as the this, we can do the same copy and paste routine with it. We can click the eyeball in the lower left corner to open a preview line where we can see how the glyph will render. From here, we can move things around until we get them how we want them. The last thing we need to do before export is to give our version of the font a new name. To change it, we'll open the file font info menu to make the update. Since we named the file Allen Custom Fira Mono, we can name the font the same thing. One thing to note is that even though the word regular is on the same line as the rest of the text, it's not part of what we're editing, so we're gonna leave it alone. The final step in making the font is to pick File Export from the menu bar. This opens the export window where we can just leave the defaults and press Next, which in my case is gonna drop the new file in my downloads folder next to where the original font folder was. Now that the font's made, we need to install it. We can do that with the built-in FontBook app that resides in the Applications folder. Once you open it, go to File, Add Fonts to Current User in the menu bar, and then navigate to the newly created font file and click Open. After a quick validation, the new font should show up in your list. To use our font in VS Code, we'll need to make two updates. First, we need to set the font name and the editor font family setting. Enter the name we use for the font, making sure to leave off the word regular at the end, the same way we ignored it when we were renaming the font. So in our case, it's Allen Custom Fira Mono. And note that because there are spaces in the name of the font, we need to put the name inside of single quotes. Next, we need to tell VS Code to use the ligatures. This is done in the editor font ligature setting. For my version of VS Code, I have to change the editor font ligature setting directly in my settings JSON. I get to it by searching for ligature and then clicking edit in settings JSON. My VS Code defaulted the value to false, which I changed to true. And with those two things in place, the ligature should do their thing. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. And if you'd like to see more of my stuff, swing by my main site at alanwsmith.com, which is always a work in progress.